My name is Anna Jens, and let's see how we can install and use the HP Builder in Excel. First, we must download it. So go to Google, then click HP Filter and then download. We will choose this link here from Econ Papers Repack Org. So click that one. And under Downloads, click the first link. And now we downloaded it. Then we can go to Excel, click File, then click Options, then click Add-ins, click Manage Excel Add-ins and click Go. And then we can click Browse. And I downloaded mine to the Downloads folder, so I'll head there and mark it. Then click OK. And I actually installed it um, previously, so mine will just replace it. So now we install it. Then click OK. Now we can apply the HP filter to our time series data. I got uh, USA GDP from 1960 to 2018. And the HP filter is good to make a trend from time series data to, have, uh, to, to perform longer term analysis. And we can also isolate the cyclical component to make short term analysis. That is, compute the output gap and see all the fluctuations. So let's see how that is done. First, we will make a log transformation of this GDP. So we can say log GDP. And what we'll do here is that we'll just say log. And then we will um, make a log transformation and we will mark it and we will drag it down like this. So far, so good. Now we uh, will create the HP trend. So we can say HP trend. And what we'll do is that we'll mark each one of these cells here like this. And now we can just start to write. So click equal sign and then we'll say HP. By the way, if your HP doesn't come up here in the functions, you haven't installed it right. So go back and try it again. What we'll do is that we'll choose the data from uh, the log GDP here like this. Then we will have a semicolon or a comma, whatever your format is in. And then we will choose for yearly data, we will choose 1600. For quarterly data, it will be 100. So now we can, can be tempting now to click enter. However, we won't. I repeat, don't click enter. Click control, shift, enter. Control, shift, enter. Like this. And now we created the HP trend. We can plot that in a graph. So let's have the years. Mark each one of them. Then we will have the log GDP, mark them as well. And then we will have the HP trend, mark that one. And then we can uh, click insert. We can go down here to graphs, click 2D line, and we'll choose it here. It can be, be a bit hard to see. Um, we can see that the HP trend is the orange and the blue one is the log GDP. So first we can go here, we can right click, we can format axis. And we can just choose the minimum to like 11.5. That will make us give us a better zoom, like this. And we can also um, we can also mark it, and we can maybe now we can see it. Here we can see that the log GDP has the blue one, and the orange one is the trend, right? And the fluctuations that's the output gap. That's the uh, difference between the uh, log GDP and the HP trend. So we can see it here. Here is the uh, economy like overheated and here under here it's um, in a cool cool down period. So uh, we can also compute that and plot that. So what we'll do here is that we'll go over here and we can say that we want to compute a cyclical component like this. And this is just the difference between, as I told you before, between the log GDP and the HP trend. So we'll do like this and then we can um, Actually, we could um, let me. Uh, we could make this percent like this. We could uh, have some decimals on, and now we can just drag it down like this. So now we got it as persons. We can draw that one as well. So uh, we can mark this. Control Shift and click the down arrow again. Hold Control in Shift down arrow. Then we can plot it. So we can insert. We can insert the line here. And now we created the cyclical component. That's quite smart. We can see here how, how the development in the GDP goes. We can see here that uh, we have the financial crisis here and some oil crisis before here. So uh, yeah, that's how you uh, use install and use the HP Fill in Excel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new exciting videos about economics, automation and Excel. 
Have a good day. Bye-bye.